Good morning, campers and parents. Uh, Kate LeMay here, the Executive Director at the YMCA of Greater Boston Overnight Camps, uh, home of Northwoods for Boys and Pleasant Valley for Girls. And I am getting so excited to see all of you on Sunday, but I wanted to make sure we were ready so that no one is caught off guard about check-in processes and needs of the camp before you drop off your beautiful camper. So I'm gonna go through, uh, pardon me, I'm gonna use some notes, uh, just to talk about what exactly you can expect at check-in. So the first thing is very important, you will not be allowed into camp if you do not have a negative PCR test between the time frames of June 20th through June 27th. So the results need to be back by June 20th through June 27th, negative PCR test. Or if you have, if your camper has had positive COVID results in the last 90 days, we would need the results document between the dates of March 31st or June 16th. And I'm gonna attach this document so you can all see it, um, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. The last option would be that if your child is vaccinated and fully vaccinated, which means that they received their second shot before June 12th, we would just need a copy of that vaccination card. So you have to have one of those three things to get through gate one, checking into camp. So if you haven't, if you don't have your vaccination fully or you haven't had COVID in the last 90 days, you definitely need to get your PCR test today, okay? And you can do that at an urgent care or many other sites across your state, I'm sure. So you would have your negative results before you check in. Then after that confirmation, you will will just take your camper's temperature to make sure that they do they have a temperature under 100.4 and we'll ask you a series of questions around symptoms of COVID that you'll just need to tell us if any of those symptoms you've had in the last 10 days. So you just need to be honest with us. And if you have had any of the COVID symptoms, which are in this document, we ask that you call ahead of time to speak to the nurse because it's likely that you will be turned around at check-in if that's the case. So we just wanna make sure to be real truthful and upfront because it's a com congregate communal setting here and we have to be super protective of the safety of everyone at the camp. So after you get through your symptoms check, the next thing is we're gonna hand you a tissue, you'll blow your nose, we'll take your temperature, make sure you're okay. Then um, you'll get your PCR test on site. So we were able, thank you State of New Hampshire, to uh, get the COVID test covered. So there's no additional charge for the COVID test and the, you'll just stay right in your car. One of our um, team will swab each nostril 10 times, round, around, around, round, around, round. around, around. Um, not very gentle. It not uh, doesn't go high and it doesn't hurt. So um, that will happen. And then you'll pop out of the car real quick to get your lice check. We call it the head massage, free head massage. And then we're going to check to make sure you have all your paperwork. So if you have not had a chance to do your paperwork, this year, more than any other year, we really need you to do your paperwork before you get to camp. It's gonna be very difficult if you get to camp and you haven't done the paperwork on the computer. It does take about 20 minutes. So I wanna be real about the time commitment and you need the document from your doctor that says your child is permitted to be at camp. It has their health information. It tells us any of the concerns you have about their health or their medical conditions. Um, and we need this in order to accept your child into camp. It's the law. Um, so that, it, you know, today, if you don't have your doctor's paperwork, call your, your physician or your, your medical provider and ask to get a copy of their physical. If not, you can go to an urgent care. There's urgent cares here, even in Alton. So on your way up, if you had to, you could stop and get a camp physical and then get it here. So um, in a dream world, this would happen in the next few days, you would get it uploaded into the system, the camp in touch system, which will also be included in this, this video and email. Um, so all the paperwork has to be done. There's a bunch that you fill out online, some things are uploaded, and then there's one piece of paper that you'll hand to us that is the credit card. Uh, it's your prescription payment form. So if we needed for any reason to um, go to the doctors and get medicine for your child, we would have this pre-authorization form to charge your credit card for the prescription plan. And of course we would call you before that happened, but that is one of the pieces of paper that you hand to us and we'll attach 
to your handy dandy check-in document here. Um, it, once you go through the paperwork station, if you have any medicine to drop off, you'll get out, you'll park your car, you'll get out of your car, you'll go meet with the nurses, you'll discuss your camper's medical needs, you'll hand over the medication. It needs to be in the prescription bottle. So make sure it's the real bottle, not a, a transfer bottle. It's gotta be the bottle with the directions on the bottle. And then um, this year we're doing something a little different. So for those returning campers, you'll drop your camper off at the field and then you'll drive into camp with all your gear packed. And if you could label it with tape, that would be amazing. Um, we'll have tape and markers, but as compacted as you can get it. So like a bag and a trunk or a big Tupperware and a bag, something like that. Um, you're just gonna drop your luggage and we're gonna move your camper into their cabin just in order to eliminate cross-contamination of any chance that, uh, so we don't have parents going into the cabin. So you'll just drop the gear off. So you'll say goodbye to your camper and get uh, a handy dandy parent paper about where they're living, how to send mail, how to check camper photos, all that stuff. Um, and then you'll drive down the hill and drop off the luggage in your child's respective village, which you'll find out when you get here. Uh, the last thing is that that's it. So after you drop off the luggage that you're good to go and you've dropped off your camper and um, and so there is photos of your camper through a, a system called Bunk One that you'll have access to. Um, myself and my colleague at the equivalent level will walk through all the cabins and make sure that every child got their beds made, they have their to everything they need, toothbrush, make sure that nothing got missed. We will definitely call you if there's any concerns or we need something um, so you can rest assured that your child will get moved into their cabin uh, in a, in a meaningful way and that their bed is made and our counselors will make sure that your child is taken care of even in the drop-off component. So uh, I think that's it for today. The reason we're sending this video today, it's really important that you get that PCR test if you are not fully vaccinated, which means if you are not vaccinated uh, second shot by July 12th, or you haven't had a positive COVID test through March 31st to July 16th, or then you would get that negative PCR test because that, that will make you get turned around and we don't want to have that happen to anybody. So we're really excited to see everyone. Also, there is no bus this year. So if you're coming from Boston, there is no bus. So that's very important. You need to get yourself to camp. We'll put the address for your GPS down below. Also, sorry, <laughs> there's one other thing that the times for arrival are in this email. So based on your age, we're asking for you to arrive at a particular time. So I believe it's the seniors and CIT, or I think CITs are coming the day prior, but LITs are in the first block, which is 12 to two, and then trailers and middlers is two to three, and juniors is three to four. So that is to just help us so that the uh, groups are bundled. If you happen to have a sibling that hits multiple categories, you can go at whatever uh, category feels right for your family. Okay, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us. Uh, the phones are very busy and we are happy to talk to everyone, but I do think email is a little bit of a faster way. We'll call you if we have any concerns. You wanna make sure that that paperwork is done and your bill is paid. I think that's it. We can't wait to see everyone. Thank you so much for jumping through all these hoops to make sure that your child has an amazing experience this summer. Camp feels great. I think uh, it feels really normal. We're, we're having a wonderful time. The weather's been wonderful. The horses are here. So we're really excited to see all of you and uh, take care.